In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the index function. As you can see, I have already created a table which contains monthly sales figures for three financial years. The purpose of the index function is to help us find the position of our data so that we can retrieve it and use it for various purposes. In this example, we'll be using the index function to find the position of our monthly sales figures from table one so that we can summarize it into quarterly figures. Firstly, we need to summarize Q1 sales figures 2015 into cell C13. So we will need to type the formula equals sum open brackets. This sum function will summarize all data within it. Next, we will type index open brackets. As you can see, it now shows us what we need to fill in next. The first criteria is the array. This is asking us where the Q1 data is stored. For this, we can highlight all the Q1 data. Once selected, we now need to make these cells absolute, as we will be dragging the formula down later on. Once complete, you can click a comma and move on to the next criteria. The next criteria is the row number. This is asking us which row the data we need is located. As the data we need is in row 1, we can type 1 and type a comma to move on. The next criteria is column number. This is asking us which column the data we need is located. As we need all the columns, we'll type 0 and close brackets twice, one for the sum and one for the index. And then click enter. This should give us the total value for Q1. We now need to do the same for Q2, Q3 and Q4. For this, I'm going to drag the formula across. This will only show us the data for the sum of Q1 as we have used absolute values. So we can now double click in cell D13. This will show us that the this will show us that the, the data in Q1 is selected. We can now drag the selection to Q2. This is a quick way of changing the formula. We now need to do this for Q3 and Q4. Once we've done this, we can drag the formula down to 2016 and 2017. This is now only showing us data for 2015. This is because the row that, that the index formula is looking at is still row 1, which is for 2015. We need to change the row from 1 to 2 for 2016 and 1 to 3 for 2017. So now I'm just changing all the 2016 rows to 2. And then 2017 to 3. And there you go. 